Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Today I'm going to be doing a fall winter 10 item wardrobe check-in. Okay, here's the question that everybody wants to know. How did my budget wardrobe work out this year? Because you know I didn't buy any purchases from APC, which is my beloved, love that brand, but very expensive. I got a lot of things from Ann Taylor Loft this year. Ann Taylor Loft has wonderful clothes and you can find them at almost three times less uh, than brands like APC. Now here's the catch. I find that with the more expensive clothes that I buy, like the APC clothes, that they do last a longer period of time. It's simply how it is. This is not saying anything bad about loft, however, um, because the loft dresses and clothes are also high quality. I find that some of them will last longer than others, and I'm going to tell you about that in this video. I have two loft pieces that I absolutely loved and that will definitely be going into my fall winter wardrobe for next year. And so they ended up being magnificent purchases. Um, there's two others that trunk, so <laughs> they will not be going into my uh, fall winter wardrobe for next year. The thing is that you have to consider is, number one, the really expensive clothes, like the APC for example, is something that you have to be able to front the money up immediately. I don't advocate putting anything on the credit card. I do not advocate buying anything that you can't afford at that very moment, right? Even though it will last you a long time, you have to save up for it and be able to purchase it. Some women are of the mindset that they don't want to wear something for three years because they might get bored of it. So that's not me. I actually don't get bored. If I find a dress that I absolutely love, I will wear it until it dies, basically. But I know that some women like to change things up. So if that's you, it might be wiser to go for Ann Taylor Loft where, you know, you're spending much less and you can, you know, change it out, you know, as the seasons go on. So those are my thoughts on that. Another tip I want to give you for the 10 item wardrobe is this. We're coming to the end of the winter season and a lot of your favorite stores are doing clearance sales for the winter items because everyone's mind is on spring right now. It's kind of like the after Christmas sales where you, you, know, you get all of the Christmas ornaments at 70% off because nobody's thinking about Christmas, right? But that's a good time to buy your ornaments so that you don't spend full price you know, next Christmas season. So it's the same concept. A lot of your favorite stores will be having clearance sales, especially on things like sweaters. And here's where I like to purchase some staples, some classics at a very discounted price from really great brands. And I can use them in the upcoming fall winter 10 item wardrobe. Do you see what I mean? So for example, um, Talbot's was having a sale and I got some sweaters at a very discounted rate from them. This is just a classic v-neck sweater and so I got this and this will be in my fall winter wardrobe for next year. The sweaters that I have are running low. This is not cashmere, this is merino wool. I also have this black cardigan. Uh, my other one was shrinking so this is the one that I am going to be using from Talbot's and you know, these are staples. So I'm not buying something trendy. I'm buying something that I know I'm going to need for next year. The key here is to not go crazy and think, oh, it's on sale, I'm going to go crazy and just get a lot of clothes that you don't need, okay? So that's the hard part. When you hear clearance, 60, 70% off, you might be tempted to go crazy and buy a lot. No, still use your, your 10 item wardrobe mindset here and only buy where there are holes. If you think, okay, I do need to update my sweaters. It's a great idea to purchase from the sales if that's the case. Or if you see a wonderful winter dress that's on sale and you think I could definitely use that for next year. If you can afford it and if it's the right price, if it fits all of your criteria, then it's a good idea to get it in the sales. Okay, so I want to talk about um, this dress that I got from Ann Taylor Loft and you will recognize it from the fall winter 10 item wardrobe 2014 and I love this dress but I remember in the talk through I told you that I was worried it was going to shrink and become too short and it has and I knew that. Now here's where you learn and this is why the 10 item wardrobe is wonderful. Every single piece of clothing that you have is a case study. 
And when you learn something from it, you think, ah, I'm never making that mistake again, right? So I am never going to buy something ever again um, where I think that it could potentially shrink and become too short. If it has that potential, it has no place in my wardrobe. I really do not like wearing short clothes. I like knee length dresses, basically. And if something is above the knee or really above the knee, I am super uncomfortable. So while this dress was absolutely lovely, you know what, it was too short to begin with and I knew that. I don't, I don't know why I bought it. So it's beautiful and everything, but what I've been doing is wearing it with opaque black tights. I would never wear this just with my bare legs. So I'm wearing it with my opaque tights and I will probably continue to wear this for the rest of the winter because I don't want to buy anything new, um, but this will not be returning uh, to my fall winter wardrobe. It's just too short. Okay, let's talk about this emerald green jacquard dress from Loft. This was such a great dress, a wonderful purchase. I loved it. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it except that it has shrunk a little bit and it is a little bit too short for my liking, um, but it's still in my comfort zone. So I might bring this back next year. We'll see. I'm going to continue to wear it over the next two months. I think we have about two months left of cold weather and I will analyze at the end of that time whether or not I'm going to bring this dress back. If it shrinks anymore, the answer is no. If it remains, uh, you know, how it is, I might bring it back because I can wear this with opaque tights uh, and boots or ballet flats and a long cardigan and it looks really good still. So this was a really beautiful dress from Loft and a great find. Okay, this um, navy and red spot dress from Loft was a wonderful find as well and I love this dress. This will be coming back. This was the perfect length. So this is an example of picking the right style dress basically for me is that it was knee length to begin with. I knew that it wasn't going to shrink. It's not the type of fabric that looks like it's going to shrink. And it didn't shrink and it's it has maintained its beautiful shape. This was a wonderful dress and a great purchase. Um, so this is an example of budget shopping gone right where I'm going to probably wear this next year unless something you know horrible happens to it. <laughs> so this is an excellent choice. I am wearing the Jacquard t-shirt, which was also great. I'll definitely be wearing this again next year. And the fluid ankle pants from Loft, which were my favorite purchase by far uh, from Loft. And those will also be uh, wearing those next so you year. You see, I am bringing some of these items back and uh, they ended up being really great value for that very reason. I'll probably mix with high and low next year. We'll see what happens. And when I say next year, I mean this year. We're in 2015. It's just that it's the beginning of the year and I'm not thinking about fall. It seems far away. Let's talk about the equipment blouse. This is an example of a high-end brand. And how many seasons have I used this blouse? I think I've lost track. It could be going on three years now, maybe even more before I had kids. I can't even remember now, but it's, I've had this blouse for a very long time. It is, although right now it looks good to me, it is starting to show wear and tear. So we will see. I will wear it for another few months and then I will decide whether or not I'm going to continue this blouse on. But I want you to note that this has been serving me diligently for the past few years. So this is another example of a high-end brand, slightly more expensive and you're paying for a nicer quality that will last me, you know, years. So this did me well. I mean, it really did. It was a great purchase. My Talbot's jean dress. I have a plan for that dress. I'm not going to tell you about it until you see a video that I have about it. But that dress was amazing and I'm definitely continuing with that theme. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about, check the link below for the link to my 10 item wardrobe video that shows the fashion show of all of these choices. If you're in the middle of your 10 item wardrobe process, it's a great idea to analyze how it's working for you. What mistakes did you make this year? What are you never going to do again? Are you never going to purchase a certain style again? Is there something that you bought that you didn't wear at all? If so, you have to ask yourself why. Why didn't you wear it? Um, it's good to just get rid of things that you know no longer serve you. We're getting closer and closer and closer to our true style every day and our 10 item wardrobe is helping us to get there. 
Today I would love to know how is your 10 item wardrobe working for you? What have you learned from it? What are you going to do differently next time? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.